What the hell are you doing? I was going to order a snack. Don't play innocent with me, Lucy. You're shooting off your big mouth about you know what. You promised us that you would keep that information secret. Fine. I, um, truly apologize. The subject is off limits for the ten millionth time. Don't mention it. I will not tell another living soul. That's not the point, Ellen. Lucy swore she wouldn't tell anyone in the first place. Surprise, surprise. She didn't keep her word. I didn't tell her on purpose. It just sort of slipped out. You know, and I'm not the only person who knows this. This is not a game, Lucy. I know that. Ellen will not tell anybody. It's not Ellen I'm worried about. It's you. You can't keep your big, fat mouth shut. Okay. What is it you want me to do? Because I have apologized and apologized. It just doesn't seem to sink in, does it? Lucy, it doesn't matter how many times you self-destruct. It doesn't matter how many times your careless behavior hurts someone else. You operate as if you don't have a conscience. You, you know that I do. I used to think that, Lucy. Now I'm not so sure. If I'm going to have chemo again, am I going to lose all my hair? I don't want to have to wear that stupid hat all the time. Okay, well, let's not make up problems that don't even exist, okay? Okay. Well, look at the happy family. What are you eating? PB and J. Want some? Oh, no, thanks. I'm full. Up to here. Too bad. Courtney, you got a minute? No, not now. Well, it's important. I've got a friend who's looking for a wedding coordinator. I will have to wait. We just got back from the hospital. Where we found out that Neil is going to have to undergo bone marrow tests. So you see, your friend is going to have to wait. It's not really like I broke my word, you know. This sort of just slipped out of my mouth. I told Ellen I didn't deliberately shout it to the whole entire world, which I could have, but I didn't. Now, Kevin and Eve are both making it out like I'm the world's worst person. It's because of Eve. She's mean. She would think that of me. Not Kevin. That woman has completely turned Kevin against me. That's clear. Excuse me. Oh. Lucy? Kathy? Why are you here? I don't believe that's any of your business. Why don't you get off at the fourth floor? That's pediatrics. You can find yourself a new little boyfriend. Nicholas is an adult. Oh, brother. How long has he been an adult? For what, all of 20 minutes now? You know, I'm going to excuse you because I know that little blow to your head has made you a little more nitwitted than usual. <sighs> Thank you. That's very big of you. Tell me something. Was it kind of a relief to take a break from yourself when you lost your memory? Oh, you must have hated remembering who you really were. It must have been such a major bummer. <laughs> a major bummer? What is this, some sort of hip lingo you're picking up from your little boyfriend who's half your age? You know, Nicholas and I have a lot in common. Work, for example, somewhat like you and Scott. How is that Serena line? Oh, oh, wait, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> sort of nosedive, didn't it? I didn't mean to bring up a sore subject. No, thank you. That's very kind of you for bringing up. It's actually doing quite fine, doing really well. Oh, Dr. Lambert, hello. Hello. That is a very nice suit. This whole thing? Why, thank you so much. Oh, well, some people have great taste and others don't. You know, your haircut is very chic. I love it on you. Well, thank you so much. Boy, could this day get any worse? Hey, sweetie, you want another sandwich? No, thanks. Hmm? I'm fine. Well, uh, you know what? I just bought some blue paint so we can finish our X-Wing model. Yeah, awesome. Yeah? All righty. Yeah, right. Excuse us, we have some aeronautics to attend to. All right. Where's the money, Courtney? 
What money, Frank? I went to the apartment to get some cash, but it was gone. You know, I'm really not in the mood for another one of your April Fool's jokes. It's no joke. Are you sure? Cut the act, Courtney. I saw your face that night. I threatened to take the money. You panicked. You thought you'd beat me to the punch, didn't you? I didn't take it, Frank. Only two people knew where the money was. You and me. I didn't take it, so that leaves, let's see, you. I already told you I didn't take it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, Julie. Julie, oh, Julie Ju must have found Ju it. Julie, get real. She tore your room apart looking for it. She was determined to find that money, and ooh, looks like she succeeded, huh? Thanks for meeting me. What can I do for you? I need your help. I'd like Julie's doctors at Ferncliff to restore her phone privileges. Why? She'd like to reach out to some of her old friends. Believes it's an important beginning to her recovery. Do you think that's wise? It could be just another ruse to help her uh, escape again. That's possible. It's also possible that she's on the verge of a breakthrough. She's claiming now that she's innocent of the murders. Well, you don't believe that, do you? No, but I know that Julie is very disturbed. Not to mention smart and manipulative. But I have this strong intuition that there's something more going on. Something we haven't reached yet. After all she has done to you, uh, I'm surprised at this commitment to, to help her. I feel a certain responsibility towards her. The murders were based on my book. Well, I, I feel a responsibility to her as well. I just wish I had seen the trouble she was in earlier. You know, I'm not operating solely from guilt. Even if I hadn't written General Homicide, I'd still be interested in Julie's case. My twin was a killer. I've delved into that kind of criminal mind. I've come out on the other side. I think I can dig a little bit deeper into Julie than some of her other doctors can. You think this can really help Julie? You have my support. She fooled all of us for months. I realize that. And I don't think we're any closer now to knowing the real Julie Devlin than we were a year ago. But I intend to change that. Julie. Just tell me. Is she sick? Is she hurt? I have no idea where Christina is. She's disappeared. Oh. Get me Kevin Collins! I need to see Kevin Collins! Please, get me Kevin Collins! Hurry! Hello. I need to see you right away. Right away is going to have to wait till tomorrow morning. I can't wait that long. Is Christina okay? She's fine, but I... Janelle, look, I don't have time for this. All right, just hold on a while longer. I'll call you as soon as I can. We are just going to have to make sure he makes time. I've been getting good vibrations all day. I really believe deep down this is going to be the best nurse's ball ever. Oof. Well, my vibrations <laughs> are just wondering how much time I have with you before Amy shows up to help you get in your little costumes. Not that I can't help you in your little costumes. I, I need Amy if she shows up. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, Madam. boy, I think all the light bulbs must be burnt out in here. we got to call somebody to fix my dressing room up. 
you doing? Well, I don't want to miss the opportunity of having you alone in the dark. See, but I, I can't see a darn thing. Well, that's the beauty of it, Lucy. Oh! 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 What happened? Oh, I just tripped over a chair. Let me work my way over there. No, no. Would you just turn a light on over there? A, a lamp or something? Or maybe open the door and let some light in for Pete's right. sake. Just a second. Just oh. a second. Ow! Oh. Scott, are you okay? Just bang my kneecap. Oh, okay, wait. I think there's a lamp over here. I, I, I got it. There's a switch up here. Oh, good grief. What happened? Oh, oh I just broke a mirror. Oh. Nice knowing you. No, 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 no. Would you just... Just try and find the doorknob, okay? Or, or reach for the, the gun. Ow! Ow, ow, ow! Ow! What's the matter? Oh, uh, ow! I, I think I got my piggy tail stuck in a coat hanger. Ow! Well, wait a second, I'll get a scissor. No, 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 no. You can't cut my hair the day of the nurse's ball. Oh, this is great. This is just great. You know, my vibrations must be completely out of whack. I think it's going to be one of those nurse's balls. Well, come here. Let me even up the other side here. No, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not talking about my hair. I'm talking about this. We have a broken mirror here. You know that means seven years of horrible, horrible luck, and I didn't bring a crystal to reverse the effects. Well, forget about that. We've already had enough bad luck to last a lifetime. Maybe this is seven years of good luck. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, come in. Come in. Open. Hi. Oh, hi. Hi. Oh, my gosh, what happened? Oh. Yeah, I don't ask. Oh. Ne never mind. Never mind. Listen, I want to hear... How is the number? Is it perfect? Is it wonderful? Uh, is it darling? Are we ready? Is yeah. it darling? Uh -uh. Yes. Uh, yes. Oh, good, good. Yes. 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 We are in tip-top shape. We're ready to burn up the stage. Oh, speak for yourself. Oh, come on, Grandma. You're awesome in her number. Oh, now, come on, all of you. You're all awesome. You're going to be absolutely terrific. I just know it. And secret, this act is my favorite act. Well, on behalf of the troop, we appreciate that. But we didn't stop in here just to solicit compliments shamelessly. Serena tells us that you're going to adopt a child. Yes. I'm supposed to tell, oh, yes. Oh, I know how yes. important this is to you. Yes. Uh, congratulations. Why, thank you, Victor. That is such wonderful news. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, but, you know, uh, congratulations might just be a little premature at this time. Yeah, well, you, you know, Serena, maybe a while before we're able to adopt a, a little kid. It's okay. It'll give me more time to figure out what we should name it. Ah. <laughs> uh, only one, Miss Amy. Only there. We just have time enough for one more rehearsal. Oh, boy. Okay, okay. Have fun. Have fun. Have a great time. Good luck. Good luck. Boy, that Victor. He's quite a ham hock. Yeah, he sure is. So, um, when do you think we're going to tell Serena that we might not be able to adopt? <sighs> well, we don't know that that's going to happen. Oh, pal, denial is not very becoming on you. You know that that whole caseworker episode was a disaster. I think he probably wrote down, this is the house of Bonnie and Clyde. They are going to not allow people like us, criminal types, to adopt a child. Christina, wherever you are, I know you can hear me. Don't worry, sweetheart. Mommy's going to set the help. If I can't reach Chris, then I'll tell Kevin about you. Somehow, I'll find a way to make sure you're safe. Wow. Um. Oh, no. I know that look. You've got that, I've got something to tell you you're not going to like look. I just got off the phone with Dr. Nelson at Ferncliff. Julie had a hysterical episode, and she asked for me. And you have to go because that's the kind of guy you are. You want to come with me? I shouldn't take that long, and I'll have you at the ball in plenty of time for your numbers. Well, sure. Yeah. Maybe Julie and I can revive our musical number from last year's Nurses Ball. What was that theme? Oh, yeah. Friendship. Because Julie and I are such good friends. A simple no would suffice. We'll just take separate cars. No. No, no. I want to go with you. I'll go. But if Julie asks me to burp the pillow, I'm out of there. Janelle, is Christina okay? Have you lined up a sitter for this kid yet? I'm working on it. Maybe I'll have it set any day now. I said you had a week. Time's up. Wherever you're going, now you've got company. 
and performing at the nurse's ball. Just look after her for one more night. Uh, I can't. My ex-boyfriend's back in town, and I got a real shot at something. But not if he finds out there's a kid attached. Hold this. Look, I'll give you $500 if you just watch her tonight. Fine. But just for tonight. Okay, look, it'll work out. Be patient, okay? I have to get to the hotel. Like, now. I don't trust him, little one. It's like I'm gonna have to find someone to take care of you myself. Thank God you're here. Dr. Nelson said it was urgent? It is. Uh, I have a problem. But you can't tell anyone else about it. Go on. I had been hoping to have some of my privileges restored, particularly the phone. Well, Lee and I have already worked that out. So you can use the phones now if you like. <laughs> that is such wonderful news. What was it you wanted to tell me? I overheard the guards say that I am being transferred to a maximum security prison. That's the first I've heard of that. They said it's because of my escape. I can't go to prison. Kevin, please. I'm sure you heard wrong, but I'll look into it, you all right? You can't tell anyone else about this. I mean, the guards already don't like me, and if they think I'm spying on them, they'll make my life miserable. They won't hear a word about it. I promise. I don't know what I'd do if I didn't have you looking out for me. I'm glad to do it. I really have to leave. Are you going to be okay? I'll be fine now. All right. <laughs> Hi, Eve. Hi. You guys look so nice. Must be going to the nurse's ball. Uh, I wish I could go. So you can hang another one of your friends from the rafters? I miss Jake as much as anyone, and I didn't kill him. Kevin, what did she mean she didn't kill Jake? She brought it up, so I'm not breaking confidence. Julie's now claiming she's innocent. You were there. She held a gun on us. She says she never killed anybody. Do you think she's telling the truth? I think she's up to something. But the best way for me to find out what that is, is to remain in her confidence. Oh, where is that necklace? Where is that necklace? I love that necklace. It's got a... Amy Bynum, that better be you. Get in here. It's not. No, it's not. But it's you. Okay, you. You're good. You're very good because you can help me now. Good. Uh, Come on. Oh, wait, wait. What's going on? What's going on? All right. Amy was supposed to be here eons ago. She's supposed to be dressing me. You know, help me get everything organized. But she is the flakiest person in the whole United States of America. So now you are my dresser. I need your help. And I think I'm going to start with the pink one. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> I have a job already. I'm down in the lobby. I'm selling the raffle tickets with Lila. Oh, Mother Quartermain is quite capable of taking care of herself. Now, what is more important? Don't you think Lila or making sure your mistress of ceremonies looks her best? Hmm, let's see. What could be more important? Sorry, Lila wins. Oh, okay, fine. I will do it myself. Ooh, there's a novel idea. Would you just stop? Stop it right now. Okay, I... I... I've never seen this dress before. This isn't my dress. Oh, it's gorgeous. I, I would rather stick a hot poker in my eye than wear this dress. Lucy! Ellen, that is a D.V. Bordiso knockoff dress of one of my Serena dress lines. Do you, do you have a match? Can we burn that? This is quite pricey. Yes, it is pricey, but listen to me. That man can do that because he's a clothing manufacturer, you know? He probably made it for all of 25 cents because he uses child labor. Uh, calm down. You're getting yourself all worked up. Because David Bordiso is a liar, and he will do anything, anything at all to get what he wants. If you want this man so badly out of your life, why didn't you have him arrested for kidnapping you? If you insist on pressing charges against me, I will tell them how much I enjoyed it when you... You remember. I wonder how Mr. Baldwin would react to that. Lucy! 
Nancy? Um, uh, we didn't press charges because we couldn't prove anything. Um, it was D.V.'s bodyguard who drugged me, not D.V. himself. But his bodyguard was acting on his boss's orders, correct? Bordiso was trying to force you to stay there. Ellen, stop, okay? Let's just stop. This is a fun day. I, I, I'm sorry I even mentioned his name, okay? I, uh, yes, I, I, I won't mention it again. I'm sorry. I, I just can't figure out why you... Wait a minute. Oh, my gosh. Lucy, don't tell me that you indeed... No, no, no. I won't tell you that. Because nothing happened between me and Devi. Nothing at all. Not that he didn't try, but this pathetic dress is just one more of his futile attempts. That's all. I owe you dinner and a movie for being my date tonight. This would not have been fun coming alone. No thanks necessary. Being seen with such a beautiful woman does wonders for my reputation. You're not so bad yourself. Thank you. you two are pretty inseparable. Sometimes friends are like that. So, um, where's Neil? He's on the other side of the stage with Victor and Mary. I, uh, I heard he came in for tests. Yeah, um, we're, we're not sure if the leukemia is back or not. We're doing an aspirin tomorrow. I'd like to be there. I loved that kid long before I knew he was your son. So you look nervous about seeing him? No, but I wish you were doing it with me. Last year I was tripping over my feet, and you, you know I can't carry a tune, you know, even in a bucket. <laughs> it was fun. I'll race you to see Grandma and Grandpa. Ready? Get set. No, 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 no. This is a nice place, Daddy. No running. All right, then I will escort you to the Versailles room. Yes, you may, sir. Uh, Serena, you look very pretty. Are you going to be dancing for us tonight? You're the man who told stories about my daddy, and he had to go to jail. Is that what your daddy told you? Yes. Well, I suppose even daddies lie sometimes. Serena knows when somebody's lying, and she knows that you're just full of baloney here. Tell me, Serena, do you have any idea how many times your daddy has been in jail? Do you have any idea how many crimes Daddy's committed, Serena? You're the liar and we don't like you. Why don't you leave? Yeah. Why don't you just go back to your rat hole? Well, have you forgotten this is a public event? Uh, hi. Hi, Serena. Hey, I was just telling Frank uh, about your, your, your whole number, your props and the set and everything. So will you show us? Can you show us all that stuff? Can I, Daddy? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Here. All right, come on. you ever speak to my daughter again, I will come at you with a baseball bat, because I know where you live, Bordiso. Uh, well, I know a few things about you, too. For example, that was your other daughter, Karen Wexler. She was engaged to Joseph Scanlon, but now she's alone and living at 650 Oakhurst Road. Uh, I've had with no, you. no, Scott, no, no. Well, I can see you're the life of the party once again. And I can see you're with the life of the party once again. What are you stopping me for? Don't you want to punch that guy in the nose? Yes, I do. But I suppose you'd like to go back to jail again. Well, thanks for the advice. Listen, Scott, think about Serena. She doesn't want to see you get hauled off again. It wouldn't exactly be a nice memory for her, okay, would it? All right, all right, Eve. You got a point. Okay. You okay? About seeing DV? Yeah, I'm okay. About him being in the same room with that gossip Lucy? No, I'm not okay. Don't worry, Eve. Lucy's not going to say anything about you having Devi's baby. You know what? I always worry about Lucy. Lucy. Hello? Yeah? Uh-huh. You have a verdict? any lighter fluid, you would be history. Oh, Amy, this had better be you. Oh, hey. No Amy, huh? No, no Amy, and I, I'm really at a loss here. I don't know what I'm going to do. Do you know I don't have anything accessorized? I don't know what shoes are going with which stockings and what jewelry's going with which, which, and in third act, I'm supposed to sew myself in my own dress? I don't think so. I need Amy. Do you sew? No. Okay. I'm fine. This is all going to be fine. 
rain, sleet, snow. I'm going to get through it. Even David Bordiso is not going to ruin this nurse's ball for me, right? Uh, well, I got a little news flash here for you, Lucy. Bordiso's out there hanging around. Oh, great. Well, let's look at the bright side, though. At least nobody's out there trying to kill you this year. Thanks a lot. That's very pleasant. That definitely cheers okay, me well, up. Then how about I'm, I'm crazy, I'm madly in love with you because you're beautiful, you're intelligent, you're funny, you're nutty. <laughs> okay, you're... stop, stop. Come on, I got a few more. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry I'm being so nutty. You know, it's... It's not just the nurse's ball. Everybody keeps saying, oh, she's wacky this time of year, but it's not just that, Scott. It's this adoption thing. I can't get out of my mind that interview with that awful caseworker. I just know he's not going to let us have a baby. I just know it. Well, you better take a, a deep breath, like a big one here. Why? Well, because I just had a conversation with this awful social worker. And we were turned down, right? Maybe it was Sigmund flying in like that, you know? A duck in the house. I know. I knew it. I knew it. Or maybe it was Serena, you know? Her head spun around like no, the No, you know what we should have done? We should have just let her wear that long dress and ruin it. That would have been fine. Or maybe it was us just thumpering about our criminal past. Well, that's what I was trying to tell the caseworker. You know, I said it's in the past. It's our past. It's gone. Yeah. Well, I think that's the way the caseworker saw it, because... They, um, they approved us. I shouldn't have worn such a tight dress. <laughs> what did you say? I said, they approved us. We can adopt a baby. We can? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> issue of your partner's not a serial killer. No, just an incredibly huge ham. Hey, me, you're the one. Now be kind. Try not to make me look like a fool. The only person that's going to look like a fool tonight is Lucy Coe. By the way, have you seen Catherine Bell? No, why? Hmm. No reason. Oh, excuse me. Ramsey here. It's Julie. Surprised to hear from you. Where is Christina? That's been taken care of. Don't give me that. Something is wrong with my baby. You better find out what the problem is now. Thank you so very much. You know, as good as the sixth annual nurses' ball has been so far, guess what? It only gets better and better and better because we have some super duper performers coming your way including two duos who will knock the adorable meter right off the charts not to mention ooh, a very hot number from our own general hospital very hot to trot residents right 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 but remember as important as it is to have fun tonight it's also important to raise a lot of money for the stone kate's memorial aids wing so let's dig very deep everybody Look at Lucy out there acting like she's queen of the ball. I'd like to wipe that smile right off of her face. It's almost sinful how much I'm going to enjoy humiliating her. Well, you can go to confession tomorrow. Tonight, Lucy gets what she deserves. Hmm. You can't keep calling me. If you don't want me to call, then go make sure my baby is all right. For the last time, I checked on Christina before I got here. Because she's with the nanny. She's fine. Stop trying to handle me, Chris. I know she's in trouble. Hey, now, listen very carefully. I'm about to perform at the nurse's ball, which means I'm switching my cell phone off. No more calls, capiche? If you... And don't try to page me, because I won't be returning your calls. This is me hanging up. Why did you say that? This is my baby. What? This is the only way the guard was going to let me through. And what is the big emergency? Oh, oh my God, please do not tell me that you are working here. You know me better than that. I'm not going to work with a baby tagging along. Yeah, and why do you still have your sister's baby? She took off. She's gone for good. Oh, that's a nice mom. I can't take care of a baby. My ex-boyfriend just came back. He wants to get back together. And he's leaving for L.A. tonight, and it's a really good opportunity for me. Janelle, you cannot abandon 
abandon this baby. Not abandoning the baby. I'm giving her to you. Oh, Janelle, don't do this. You'll find a good home for her. I know it. Oh, Janelle, Janelle, come back here. Janelle. Tammy, something wrong here? Uh, yeah, I'd say so. That woman just dumped this baby on me. All right, I'll, wait here, wait here. I'll get her. I'll get her. She hopped into a cab and took off before I could catch her. I think we should call the police. No, I would rather not do that. Um, Janelle's a friend. She's a friend who just abandoned her child. Yeah, but it's not her child. She told me that it was her sister's child. Look, Dr. Collins, let me see if I can figure out what to do on my own. And I promise you, if I cannot do that, then I will call the cops, okay? All right. Okay. That little thing can't be more than a week old. What are you going to do? Are you going to stay here? Do you need a ride home? What am I going to do? I don't know what I'm going to do. Listen, my friend, Alan Quartermain, he's inside. Could you please go see if you could find him for me? Sure. Thanks. Thank you very much. You know, medical advances have given us reason to hope that a cure can be reached in our fight against AIDS and HIV. But because of these advances, too many people, particularly young people, think that we already have a cure. Well, we don't, not yet. So it's very important for all of us to remain vigilant in our promotion and practice of safer sex. Now, throughout the evening, you've been watching Emily Quartermain's video on how HIV affects the lives of those it touches. I think her portraits show you so much better than my words can tell you. I think I keep doing the nurse's ball because people are forgetting that it's out there and still very necessary to combat this disease, especially for the children. More children are getting AIDS than people realize. And if we don't keep up the fight, then we can't help those children. And that's why I just keep on plugging away. At the age of 11, I was the oldest 11 year old because I have so many things to worry about. I found out I had AIDS when I was about eight years old. I didn't take it as hard as somebody who was like, and older would take it, devastated. Have I ever known anyone who died of AIDS? Yes, Stone Cates. He savored every minute of being alive. I think it's important to tell him right away because maybe I could do something wrong and then They'll hate me or... You know, a baby, a, a toddler, a teenager, an old person can have it. And you gotta watch out. I think one of the most important things is, I cannot stress this enough, is the fact that pregnant women should be tested. Because if a mother-to-be is HIV positive, right now there are new drug protocols and procedures that offer a chance that this virus will not be transferred to the fetus in utero. There is a lot of hope for the future. Um, I would tell my friends to use protection because... Having AIDS is better, and you wouldn't want to have AIDS. I think people should just know that people with AIDS are just like them. It's just They just have this really hard disease to deal with, and you can shake their hands, you can hug them, you can kiss them. I think my dream, if anything, is to come out of this nurse's ball is to one day be able to walk out and look at all my friends and everybody I know in one dress and say, hey, you guys can all go home because we found a cure. I am so proud of you. Lucy was right. You're gifted. And I was very lucky to have you as doctor. And he's even more lucky to have you as a father. What I said doesn't just apply to AIDS. I mean, it applies to all fields of medicine. If Neil's leukemia has returned, we can and we will fight it. Neil is sick? Yeah, we don't know for sure, but his platelets are at 75,000 and his white blood cell count is at 4.3. But those numbers could mean other things. Neil is going to be just fine because he has his grandmother's strength. Yeah. Good job. Thank you. 
Thank you. Mm. Our son will be running bases again before you know it. Yeah. Joe's Beach was very moving, wasn't it? Yes, it was. It's too bad he can't show as much regard for Karen as he, as he does for his patients. What's up with Courtney? I thought she was dating Chris. She's probably just telling Joe what a great job he did on the video. He has a passion for medicine. That's one of the reasons I fell in love with him. Hey, you want to get some raffle tickets? I saw Lila Quartermain checking me out earlier. I am a, a shoe-in for that cruise. Uh, not right now, thanks. Amy! Amy, where the heck are you? Amy! Don't tell us that your dresser deserted you already. No! Actually, she has not. And speaking of dresses, isn't it about time you got out of those old, ugly house dresses and got into your gowns? <laughs> oh! Oops. Those are your gowns. Sorry. Ta. <laughs> she doesn't even have a clue, does she? Making a fool out of her is almost too easy. Yeah. Amy, your toast! Your burnt, yucky, ugly, charbroiled toast! <laughs> Finally, it's about time. I want you to get away from me and just leave me alone, please. If you really wanted me to leave you alone, if you really felt that way, you never would have made love with me. You took advantage of me, and you are going to live to regret that. Lucy. When you came to my bed, you came of your own free will and you were extremely happy afterwards. I haven't felt this way about a woman since Meg. Your precious Meg. Are you forgetting I read those letters that she wrote to you? You're not the man that she loved. You have become cruel and ruthless. I don't think Meg would even recognize you now. Don't overestimate how far you can push me. Or you will regret it. What are you doing here, Bodizo? Complimenting the lady in a job well done. I couldn't care less what you think. I want you to leave. Whatever you say. That idiot is just harassing you to get to me. But I'm going to put an end to it, Lucy. Your friend just ran off? Yes, she wasn't thinking. She, she was panicking. I wonder if this baby's had any medical care at all. I'll check her out. Monica and I have reserved a suite upstairs. I'll examine her there. Would you like my help? What, and have Dr. Lambert read me the riot act because you missed her performance? Oh, no, thank you. She's up next. I think under the circumstances, she'd understand. Kevin, honestly, if there's a problem, I'll have Tammy go and get you. Yes. Dr. Collins, thank you so much for all your help. No problem. If you need anything else, just let me know. Okay. I am very, very excited and pleased to introduce the General Hospital residents as they prescribe their cure for a bad case of lovin'. Pretty hot. I learned that Mama 
from the start You think I'm cute A little bit shy Mama, I ain't that kind of guy Doctor, doctor, give me the news I got a bad case of loving you No pills gonna cure my ill I got a bad case of loving you in this room tonight have high hopes that we soon find a cure for HIV and for AIDS. And here to sing about those high hopes are Victor Collins, Mary Scanlon Collins, Neil Canellos, and my very own pumpkinhead, Serena Bowen. <laughs> they make you get a license to do this. Well, hi, guys. Oh, what's the matter? We can't catch nothing. We're homeless. We better cheer them up. <laughs> Next time you're found with your chin on the ground, there's a lot to be learned. Just look around. Just what makes a little old Think he'll move a rubber tree plant. Anyone knows an ant can't move a rubber tree plant, but he's got high hopes. He's got high hopes. He's got high apple pie in the sky. Oh, so anytime you're feeling low, instead of letting go, just remember that ant. You get it? No. <laughs>
Tammy, what are you going to do? Raise this baby yourself? No, Alan, I'm not. But I would at least like to try to figure out what's best for her before some couldn't care less bureaucrat comes along and tells me what I have to do. I think Christina is going to be getting hungry. I don't suppose your friend left any formula? No, she didn't. I, I didn't see any in the diaper bag. Well, you're going to have to go get some. Get the powdered kind with iron. I'll examine her. Tammy, you better start thinking about what you're going to do with this child. Hey. Come on, sweetie pie. I got you. I got you. I got you, baby. It's okay. I got you. I know you're in trouble, sweetheart. But don't worry. Mommy's gonna get you back. I promise. Hey, Lucy! Hi! You're a knockout every time you oh, take the stage. Thank you. I'm having so much fun. This is great, except for the fact that I hate the DVs here, you know. And Well, Amy has been totally absent-minded the whole time, just like every year, and even Catherine have been totally annoying, but oh, Scott, I think it's going terrific. Don't you think the nurse's ball is so great right now? And I am so on cloud nine because I have you and I have Serena, and we are going to adopt a baby. We got our okay, we're going to adopt a baby. I'm just so very grateful for that. That's why I'm so excited about this adoption, because this time we're going to get a chance to raise a baby together right from the very, very, very beginning. I sure am excited, too. It's all working out for us, isn't it? Sure is. I really want to kiss you. Please do. Okay. Let's hear it. Okay. I loved your speech. What? No screeching at me for getting you out on stage in your underclothes? Oh, I will definitely pay you back for that, and payback will be very, very sweet. But what, what you just said about helping the children because they can't help themselves, that was really good. That was very moving. You're just being nice to me to catch me off guard. Well, you know something? It's not going to work. Scott and I have just been approved to adopt through the Department of Social Services. So your speech, it just really hit home. You said exactly what I would have said myself, and you picked exactly the right tone, and I, I just want to say thank you. Of all the nerve. Oh, Kathy, take the praise from me when you can get it. You'll never get it again. You know, it is no fun tricking you if you're going to turn around and compliment me afterwards. <laughs> oh. Alan. Hey. Well, baby looks alert. Responsive. Yeah, she has every indication of good health. Glad to hear it. Do you know if she has a name yet? Her name's Christina. Christina? Well, that's oh, that's nice. Any word yet on the mother? Well, the woman who dropped her off, she seems to have left town. Tammy made a few telephone calls, but they can't locate her. It's hard to find someone who doesn't want to be found. Mm -hmm. I convinced her that we've got to turn this little one over to the authorities. She had to go back to Kelly, so I said that I would handle it. The police would probably have better luck finding the mother anyway. I actually have to find my father to tell him to go home without me. Could you look after the baby just for a minute? Uh, sure. Yeah, of course. Of course, okay. I'll take her. Thank you so much. I, I won't be long. All right. Okay. I haven't done this very much, so just let me know if I'm doing something wrong. Uh. What now? Oh, have you seen Victor? Not in the last ten minutes, no. Oh, what a darling baby. I think her name's Christina. Oh, 
Kelly. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's the cutest baby I've ever seen. May I hold her? <laughs> I wish you would. Actually, uh, would you mind taking her just for a minute? I, I need to answer a page. I'll be right back. Oh, you go right ahead. Oh, thank you. We'll get along just fine, won't we? Oh, but hurry back. I have to have my picture taken. Oh, I'm sure he'll be right back. Who could stay away from you for long? Oh, 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 uh, come in, come in. <sighs> Hi, we did it. Oh, oh, these are beautiful. They're my favorite. Thank you. Well, congratulations on another <laughs> successful nurse's ball. You pulled it off in more ways than one. Oh, very funny. We did it, though, didn't we? It was great. It was, it was wonderful. We got truckloads of money for the hospital, and I think... Didn't everybody have a good time? They did. Say they did. Well, especially that Jerry Jackson. Oh. Bobby, what the hell happened there? What was that tape about? Shh, I don't know. I don't know how that happened. I don't want to know how it happened. It was just a great big huge fiasco that's popped right out of my head. It's gone. Out of my head. Well, forever. yeah. Pulled it off just like Bob Hope. <laughs> Even though you did end up in your underwear again. But, <laughs> what the heck. I'm very proud of you, my little cherry popsicle. <laughs> mm, thank you. There she oh. is. Ah. Oh. Congratulations, oh, Lucy. Oh, thank you. Julie. You were great. Mm, oh, thank you. Oh, look at this. This is my favorite. Oh, <laughs> you were absolutely you. wonderful. Thank you oh, so right. much. Did oh. you have fun? With the cool <laughs> there clickers? wasn't a dull oh. moment at all. Oh, you were thank beautiful. You, thank you. Thank so you. Thank beautiful. you. Oh, I thought oh. the whole ball was awesome. Oh, <laughs> you were. Oh, look how. Oh, these are my favorite. You were completely <laughs> awesome. You know, your number was so terrific. You and your sister made the whole entire ball. I swear. I swear. Oh, it's where the after party is. Oh, hey. Hi. Oh. Hi. Oh. Come on in. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh. You oh, know what? yes. Here we. These are my favorite tied with this favorite. I love these. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you for inviting me to be in a nurse's ball. Oh, well, thank That's you. Fun. I'm glad you had fun. Your performance was amazing. And Thank thanks for these flowers. I love them. Thanks. You're welcome. Serena, they want us backstage to take our pictures with Grandma and Victor. Oh, yeah. oh, that's right. Well, if they're ready for pictures, then they're definitely ready for me, huh? Here you go. Well, well I think maybe we should all go. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, good Actually, idea. I gotta get back to work, so. Oh. Oh, but you have to get your picture taken. Come on. Yeah, come on. I, uh... Yeah, tell her. Uh, you know, you probably disappoint a lot of people if you don't, so... Uh, well... When you put it that way, I guess I have to, don't I? Go ahead, go okay. ahead. Run along. Okay. We'll be right there. Okay. I just have to touch up a teeny bit. I just okay. have to touch up. Oh. oh, this is fun. Would you like to come play in my garden? <laughs> Any time. <sighs> Kevin. Yes, it's me. What's the matter? Are you still at the nurse's ball? Yes. I can't reach Chris. He's not answering his page. Why is it so important to reach Chris? I just need to speak with him. Maybe I can help. No offense, but sometimes you need a friend instead of a doctor. Could you find Chris for me, please? I'll see what I can do. Frank, have you seen Joe and Neil? Can't say that I have. How's Neil doing? Well, if you mean how is he feeling, he's okay. But we have to keep him out of the next couple weeks of school. Hmm. I guess since you stole all that money from me, you can afford to skip work and stay home with him. Hmm. Okay, Frank. First off, it wasn't your money. It was Julie's money. And secondly, I didn't take it. The money didn't get up and walk off on its own. And you were the only other person who knew where it was. Julie was smart enough to break out of Ferncliff, then she's smart enough to find that money. She didn't have it on her when she was recaptured. Well, she had plenty of time to hide it somewhere. Now, if Neil's health wasn't my main priority, I would be down at Ferncliff, keeping Julie the third degree. You want that money, Frank? Go talk to the nut job. Mom, you and Victor certainly yeah. work fast. Oh. Don't I just wish? Oh, isn't she adorable? Yeah, all babies are adorable, and they all look like miniature Winston Churchills. Oh, they do not all look alike. Oh, boy, you'll understand when you have your first child. Oh, you know, the truth is, 
She looks just like you did when you were first born. <laughs> You're not keeping a deep, dark secret from me, are you? Yeah, I've got a lot of those. Oh. Who, whose baby is it, anyway? Well, Kevin said it's one of the pages. But he should be back by now. Where did he go? Oh, I don't know. But I have to be backstage to have a picture taken. But I'm not going to go, you know, with the flashbulbs well, and everything. Do you, do you want me to hang on to her till Kevin comes back? Would you? Very, very careful. She's a newborn, and you have to support her. Head. Mom, I was a paramedic. Remember, I think I can manage for three minutes without dropping her on her head. <laughs> but in, in case I do, they they do bounce, right? Oh, very uh, funny. I'll be right back. Okay. Hey, why would anyone bring you to a place like this, huh? You know, I hate to break it to you, kid, but whoever your mom is, I think she's a little whacked in the head. Chris. Hey, Kevin. What's up? Julie just paged me. She wants you to phone her. You know, it's not always easy being her friend. What's going on? She won't stop calling me. I can't seem to tell her enough that I'm in her corner. Julie's very ill. Her coping mechanisms aren't exactly intact. Yeah, I know. I should be more patient. Well, if it keeps up, let me know. I can help Julie work on her insecurities. I'll do that. I guess I should give her a call. You probably should. Yeah, I'll give her a call. Maybe. Sometime. What a cutie. <laughs> Whose baby is it? You know, I'm not sure. Mom says someone who works on the ball. She asked me to watch it for a couple of minutes. Well, I was ready to go to work. But since this little darling has stolen my date, I'm just going to ask Scott, okay? No, no, no. I can still do this. She said she'd just be a couple of minutes. Right. Yeah, sure? yeah. Look, here comes Victor now. No, no, I can't. All right, if you prefer, yes, I refuse. You can't make me. I'll have to call you back. Bonsoir, ma chérie. A key too, huh? Mm. To whom do you belong? Mm -hmm. That is a good question. Mom says she belongs to someone who worked on the ball. She really seems to like you, Frank. It's because I'm a very likable guy. Mm. Right? Mm. Hey, Victor, can you hang on to her for a minute? I need to get Karen back over to the hospital. Oh, no, that's okay. I can take oh, a cab. No. Oh, nonsense. Don't okay. be silly, Alan. Oh, there you go. Yes. Yes, All right. sweetie. I've got you. Yep. All her yes. stuff is right over here, okay? Yeah. Whew, five minutes of daddy time is enough for me. Let's go. Okay. All right. Got it? Thanks. Mm -mm -mm. I couldn't take my eyes off you all night. Drop dead. Your hostility's breaking my heart. You stole my money. What do you expect, hugs and kisses? Oh, well, it wasn't your money, it was Julie's. And I was generous enough to let you have some. Yeah. Well, Frank's breathing down my neck, thinking I took it all. It's a pity you can't tell him the truth. But then I would spill to the police, and you'd be in worse shape than you already are. You know what? I think I'll look on the bright side. At least I don't need to pretend to like you anymore. Oh, come on, Courtney. We had some laughs. Yes. I had more than you can imagine. <laughs> but at least I had the last one. Thanks for the, uh, memories. Hey, Mom! Hey, there you guys are. We were taking pictures, and I gotta tell you, Neil and Serena are born for the spotlight. We couldn't get them out of it. Yeah, I don't know. Lucy did her best to push them out. All right, I will not stand here and take your teasing anymore. Well, except maybe later tonight. Mm. You guys look absolutely gorgeous, but I need to go thank more of my staff. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. You ready to go? Uh, sure. Hey, who wants ice cream? Well, uh, Serena's grandma and grandpa already invited me to go with them. We can all go together. Yeah. Courtney and I probably shouldn't intrude. It's okay, isn't it, Daddy? He always says the more the merrier. Yes, I, I, I do always say that, but I think Grandma and Grandpa have something special planned. I'll go ask them. Come on, Neil. Okay. 
There ain't no horse playing. Look, I don't want to get into this. Yeah, I know, I know, Joe. It's never your fault. I'm not going to fight with you over this, all right? Courtney and I will go home. You can take Neil. Just bring him home later. Make sure it's not too late. Now, look, the kids want to have ice cream. We are going to have ice cream together, whether we like it or not. So the giant teddy bear came swooping down from the sky and plucked up the grumpy grasshopper by his ankles, which, whoop, whoop, I dropped my grasshopper. Okay, just don't, don't wink. It's got to hold up for the photo shoot, okay? But thank you for all your help. You know, the nurse's ball just ran like clockwork. Uh, whoa, cuckoo clock, but you know, okay. it was Okay, now, where was I? Victor. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. Victor, there you are. Yes. Victor, what are you doing with this baby? Mary gave her to Frank, and Frank gave her to me. Apparently, she belongs to one of the movers and shakers of the ball. Well, she's not Lucy's or, or Catherine's. Maybe she's Amanda Barrington's granddaughter. Well, let's ask her. A quoi penses-tu? Eh? Avons-nous raison? Oh, my goodness. I wonder if Mary is waiting for me to have some pictures taken with her. Uh, could I ask you an enormous what, favor? What you Would you just keep an eye on the baby just for a oh, few minutes? No, 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 Victor. There you that's are. not a good idea. I'll be back in a jiffy. No, don't. That's not a she good idea. She has no small talk, but she loves hand puppets. I... No. Victor, 